All right, guys, it's been an amazing week here at Adventure Lab. We shipped out our very first ATK trailer. We are almost finished with all the materials for the LBE launch, which should be early next week. We've got some really cool Raptor stuff going on now. Pat's installing a really cool bump stop kit from SVC Raptors. Uh, we've got a new winch mount that we've been designing over here. That'll probably go in sometime early next week. Um, we've got a bunch of Red Arc stuff going in the back for auxiliary power, compressors, air storage, all that type of stuff. Uh, we're also sort of in the middle of our event prep. So uh, the Raptor will get delivered to Moab pretty soon. Uh, and speaking of Moab, we're cleaning up the hydro Jeep to get ready for EJS. So we took it out to Matt's off road and it got full of sand. Uh, so Ethan's here basically vacuuming out piles and piles of sand and uh, getting this thing all shined up. So we will load up the hydro Wrangler, uh, the Gobi, Wrangler and the ATK trailer, as well as the Gladiator. And those are all headed to EJS. So we'll pull out uh, early Wednesday morning for EJS. Then we'll get back, clean it all up, get ready to do it all over again. Then we'll head to more expo, Jeep Beach, come back and do it all over again for all the expos and that type of thing. A lot of things going on here at the shop. Just want to give you guys an update and uh, keep you in the loop as much as we can. Hey, Colton, yes, if you can get one up and over or under the some part. Up under this guy? Nope. Back here, work. Back under. Right there, yeah. Yeah. Go under that, okay. and then Mikhail, you come right in front of that. Okay. Okay. Just Sorry, just trying to. No, you're good. Dude. Come on. Nope. Pat. So, <laughs> so who invited this guy? Colton <laughs> doesn't understand tying. I know I do, but it was on the premise that you knew what's going on. I only tie down things with handlebars. <laughs> okay. He, he it's the same principle. Right here. No, there's no wheels on it. There we go. There we go. This is where we're going to tie it. If we tie it to itself, um, just, it'll be just, 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 wanna, oh, just to the brake pad. Okay. Do we want to score the start like this. board? And it'll tie oh, itself down. The brake I think when we tie well, it, it'll just do its own thing. I'm afraid it'll be kind of weird. Well, we can score it. I mean, it doesn't have to be like you. You want to toss yours under the knee? Well, yeah, I need a little bit of that. I'm waiting for you to give me more. I've been giving you more. You have it. Yeah. 12. Dude, you did not need that much. I did. No, you did not. You see how skillful that was, though? Dude, you see how much freaking I have left over. So one of our more popular products for the Wranglers and the Gladiators is our quick release inner fenders. So what makes them special is obviously the quick release part and that is handled with some Zeus buttons. So each corner has six Zeus buttons that come out and in about, I don't know, 20 or 30 seconds, you can pull out the whole shell of the inner fenders. And to show you guys that, Ben has sort of volunteered to be the new guy and read through the instructions and kind of learn the process on the fly. So it'll be a more realistic view of what it might look like if you were doing it for the first time. So Ben's going to show you how to do that. Come over here, do these first two. And I have never done these before, so this is a pretty accurate representation of, you know, how this goes. I'm going to do this back one down here first, the bottom one. Let me grab this one. one. And the two pieces will stay together. Stay fastened together, so it should just be. It's unfortunate. There we go. You are awesome. All right, so that is completely. Oh, that's not going to just fall on me. There we go. So let's try throwing those on there and. Uh, seeing how easy they are going on versus uh, coming off. That's not it. So let's try throwing them back on just so you can get a comparison. Let's try throwing them back on just so you can get a comparison with taking them off so you can get a true feel for how long it takes after the first time you get on there, just for uh, popping it off, doing quick maintenance, cleaning, stuff like that. Five millimeter Allen wrench. All right, I want to talk about a couple potential problems you might have. Back here, you want to make sure the fender lines up behind this lip right here on the uh, start of the door. It's uh, how you line that up with the factory hole. And then as you're putting it in, you want to bring it in through the front this way, kind of flat, and then bring it over this way and start with getting this behind here 
and then you also want to make sure that it lines up behind this bolt and then you can kind of start lining it up around the perimeter through there. I'd recommend starting with the top two kind of hold in place, get the two tricky ones on the side and then these uh, two down here are super easy. Fisherman. Yeah. <laughs> By the book. I'm gonna stay slightly out of the way. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Got Ethan's approval. I don't have a mic, but how are you feeling about that? Uh, I think we executed it wonderfully. Uh, really couldn't have gone any better. Um, you know, we didn't drop it, so that's a big bonus. Yeah, I'd say a uh, huge success. And, uh, you know, even if we dropped it, it would have been a success. Uh, it's whatever, you know? This one went good. Okay. We're stoked. Alright guys, so that was super easy. I did it by myself uh, for the first time. Zero issues, didn't need another set of hands, anything like that. So I appreciate you watching. What should the people do? Oh, hit that subscribe button. Absolutely. For more what? For more content. What type of content? Jeep content. And? Off-road content. All the, all the cool stuffs. Yep. Alright. <laughs> appreciate you. <laughs>